Hello, all of you lovely people watching, and welcome back to another video here on the Brugly channel. It's me, Brugly, as always, and in this video, I want to go over a backrooms level that's extremely dangerous, to say the least. It's called level 154, aka the laser game, and it's a pretty insane level that I didn't know about, so if you're like me, stay tuned for the explanation. Also, I just want to let you know, at 500,000 subscribers, I'm going to be buying these backroom pants and making a video with them on, and doing a photo shoot with them. I just thought you should know that. Anyways, let's get right into the video, shall we? Level 154 is classified as a class 5 survival difficulty and is very much unsafe, unsecure, and actually has a low entity count, despite what you might think. Because the entities here are not what's actually dangerous. It's the level itself. Because this is the level that's home to something called the laser game. More on what that is in a few minutes. I'm going to explain what the level looks like now. The level is physically made up of looping and winding hallways that go on forever. The hallways are made of stone and they're all the exact same color, which is pitch black. And the only light in the level comes from these really dingy colored lights in the ceiling that don't even really put off light, kind of just a random glow. However, the main attraction of this level is the big open rooms where the laser game is played. Now these rooms all have doors with a specific symbol painted on them and I'll get into what they mean in a second. But the entire level can be separated into two distinct parts, the corridors and the laser rooms. Obviously, the corridors are just the black stone hallways that I just talked about, and the laser rooms are, well, the laser rooms. The temperature in the hallway corridors is typically just lukewarm until you get closer to a laser room because then it starts to get hot. So that's kind of how you can decide if you're close or not or where you should go. It's also heavily recommended to carry a flashlight and maybe some powder or breadcrumbs with you so you can mark your path and not get lost in these infinite hallways because those are the only ways that you can escape the level and if you don't find them, you're just gonna be stuck here forever. So you gotta find those labeled doors because there's no water, food, or supplies on this level at all. So now I'm gonna talk about the laser rooms themselves. Obviously the laser rooms are where the laser games are located. Behind each of those doors with those symbols on them, there's huge open rooms with a bunch of lasers pointing across it. Yeah, it's like some Mission Impossible stuff. Past these lasers, there's always a pedestal with a pendant on top of it. And this pendant is gonna be in the same shape as the shape on the door. That's how they're coded together. You can probably guess where this is going, but your goal is to get to that pendant by crawling, jumping, or rolling under these lasers at all costs without getting hit. And there's also a time limit for each room. Now obviously in most of these rooms you can hit a laser or get grazed by a laser and you'll be semi-okay, just a little bit burnt, but you probably wouldn't want to in some of them because the lasers are more powerful there. So the goal is for when you and whoever you're with, if you're with somebody, when you both get to the pendant, you immediately grab it and touch it, both of you. And then you'll be teleported out of the laser room and back to level one, which is where you came from. And that's how you get out of this level. And then once you touch it, you get to keep the pendant. The one you took will be immediately replaced by an identical one. Now this all sounds, you know, pretty easy, right? Just avoid the lasers, touch the pendant, and you'll be fine. Well... That's not really the case with all the rooms, which I'm going to get into the individual room types right now. The first room is called the line room, which has a straight blue line painted on the door. The lasers inside of this specific room stay still and they don't move, but they are the most powerful out of all the lasers because they just stay in one spot and they just beam constantly. Obviously, they can cause bad injuries and burns if touched, so don't. The line room has a lot more time on the clock than the other rooms typically. It starts a 60 second countdown the exact moment you walk into the room, so you don't have that much time. If you can't make it to the pedestal with the pendant in time, then the pendant will retract into the floor and you won't be able to get it. The lasers will turn off and then the door will unlock and you'll have to walk out. Now obviously, you might think that you get off the hook too easily, but you gotta think. 
Getting a pendant is the only way to get out of this level. So now that you didn't get the pendant, you're trapped here again and you have to go find another room and they're not even common, they're pretty rare. So you should never fail, you should try your hardest here. Now the line room is one of the easiest rooms because the lasers don't move and it's not that big of a space. So if you see it, I recommend going for it. Now the next room is called the circle room, which has a yellow circle painted on its door. And just like the line room, when you walk inside the room, the door slams behind you and locks itself. And you're stuck here until you win or until you lose. However, the lasers here are actually always moving, although they're moving pretty slowly, but they're still moving. And this circle room does not have a timer, which is nice. On top of that, the room itself is pretty small and the lasers themselves are pretty weak. They're actually the weakest out of all the rooms, so getting hit by one would just mean a minor scrape. You can even block these specific lasers with a thick non-reflective object, like a chair or a stool or something, you know, something sturdy. But this is the only room that that would work on because of how weak the lasers are. Now the next room after this is the triangle room, which has a red triangle painted on its door, and this is the smallest of all the rooms because it's the most dangerous. This room has a puzzle inside of it that's made up of seven prisms that have to be aligned in a certain order to block the lasers, which is cool if you're smart. If you're not, you might be screwed. If you come into the triangle room, you can't even leave until the prism is solved, and there's no timer, so you could just be stuck in there. So for this reason, it's not recommended to try this room at all, because some people might not be smart enough to solve the puzzles. The second to last room is the square room, and it's marked with a green square on the door. This room is seemingly impossible to escape through, because the lasers are so close together that humans just can't squeeze through without getting hurt. But apparently, some people have actually made it through, but no one knows how they did it, so there's gotta be some like cheat or some puzzle to solve, but so far, no one knows how to get through. Don't go in a square room, all right? Now the last room is called the Pentagon Room, which has a pink pentagon painted on its door. And this one is by far the easiest for pretty much everyone, depending on the wanderer. It involves running, like sprinting. When you step foot in the Pentagon Room, behind you, the laser will start, and it will start to move forward, so the second you open that door, you gotta start running as fast as you can to the end of the room where the pedestal is, because that laser is gonna be going, and if you get caught by that laser wall, man, it's over. And this room is pretty much just a test of physical strength and agility. It's pretty much like the storm in Fortnite, just moving right behind you constantly, but faster. But that being said, if you trust in yourself to run at all, this is definitely the easiest room to escape the level in. Now to enter this level, there's only one way, and it's from following these colored bulbs in random areas of level 1 that match the colors of the pendants. And then you'll be led to the entrance to here, and you can only exit the level by touching and grabbing the pendants past one of the lasers in the laser rooms, which will take you back to level 1 where you came from. I guess the cool thing is you can keep the pendant as kind of a trophy. It's not magic or anything, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, that was the level 154 explanation. It's a pretty insane level, not gonna lie. I really liked it, it's definitely unique. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and supporting me. Hope that you're getting excited for Brugly Summer Spectacular. It's gonna be awesome. 37 videos in May through June, and I'm gonna be going over levels 13 through 50. It's gonna be great. Four videos a week for literally eight weeks, guys. I mean, that's, come on, come on. Also, if you want to see me in Backroom's pants, you'll have to wait until 500k when I order them. Check out the description for any links you might need, and go check out my second channel for Minecraft and Storytime videos. It's lit over there, we're vibing. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video on Wednesday. Peace!